How to clean Kaufalon. High-performance nonstick cookware like Kaufalon can be a lifesaver in the kitchen, but after the meal has been devoured it still needs to be washed. Fortunately, Kaufalon's hard anodized aluminum finish makes it a breeze to wipe clean even the most stubborn stuck on residue. Simply scrub your pots and pans by hand using a mild liquid dish soap and a soft sponge, then rinse them and leave them to dry. By caring for your Kaufalon cookware properly, you can ensure that it will provide you with an unparalleled cooking experience for years to come. Handwashing Kaufalon Cookware Rinse the cookware with warm water. Hold dirty pots and pans under the stream and swish the water around inside. The heat and pressure of the water will help dislodge food particles clinging to the surface of the cookware. Try to rinse away as much stuck on food as you can before you begin scrubbing. Cold water can lower the temperature of the cooking surface too quickly, potentially warping or weakening a piece of cookware. Wash the cooking surface by hand. Though some Kaufalon products are technically dishwasher safe, it's always preferable to hand wash nonstick surfaces to preserve their carefully tempered finish and luster. This will allow you to spot clean cookware and give it more delicate treatment. Go over the manufacturer's recommendations for cleaning and caring for a particular piece of cookware. Protecting the finish of your nonstick cookware is key to extending its lifespan. Go over the manufacturer's recommendations for cleaning and caring for a particular piece of cookware. Protecting the finish of your nonstick cookware is key to extending its lifespan. Use gentle soaps and scrubbers. A mild liquid detergent like Dawn or Palmolive will work best, as these soaps don't contain any harsh chemicals or astringent agents that might cause scratches. Along with liquid dish soap, you should scrub your Kaufalon pots and pans with a non-abrasive sponge or soft bristled dish brush. For an extra soft touch, a simple washcloth will also get the job done. Stay away from steel wool, metallic brushes and anything else likely to ruin a piece's finish. For an extra soft touch, a simple washcloth will also get the job done. Stay away from steel wool, metallic brushes and anything else likely to ruin a piece's finish. Soak stubborn food stains to soften them. If your pots and pans are crusted with burnt or stuck on residue, they may need a little extra treatment. Soaking the cookware will help the anodized aluminum release hardened food particles without the need for forceful scouring. Use hot water and leave the cookware to sit for 10 to 15 minutes, then hand wash as normal. For best results, add about a cup of distilled white vinegar to the bottom of the pots and pans before you soak them. Because of their resilient finish, Kaufalon pieces won't require as much soaking as ordinary pots and pans. For best results, add about a cup of distilled white vinegar to the bottom of the pots and pans before you soak them. Because of their resilient finish, Kaufalon pieces won't require as much soaking as ordinary pots and pans. Rinse the clean cookware thoroughly. After soaking and scrubbing your pots and pans, be sure to wash away all traces of food and soap. Otherwise, these substances may dry on the cooking surface, creating an unsightly film. Shake off excess water and find a good place to hang or lay out the cookware to begin drying. If any remnants of food or oil remain in the piece after rinsing, it may be necessary to repeat the cleaning process. If any remnants of food or oil remain in the piece after rinsing, it may be necessary to repeat the cleaning process. Allow cookware to dry completely. Pat your cookware dry with a clean, absorbent towel. You can also rest pots and pans upside down and leave them to air dry. Keep your cookware in a well-ventilated, open area while it dries to speed to process along. Afterwards, your Kaufalon cookware will be as good as new. Don't put away wet pots and pans with the lids on them, as this could potentially cause them to smell. Stash Kaufalon pieces in a vertical dish rack to help them drain while they dry. Don't put away wet pots and pans with the lids on them, as this could potentially cause them to smell. Stash Kaufalon pieces in a vertical dish rack to help them drain while they dry.